This is a Grim Dawn modding tutorial. Uh, this will work for any of the modding in general, but this is more specific to the way it's set up in the um, Infinity mod. So the spreadsheet here shows two items that we're going to create. That's the plus four flame mace and the plus five wisdom pauldrons, the two in green here. And these belong to a skeleton archer and a desert mosquito. So some of the stats on here that I've, the way that I've laid this out is the 89 on there. So it says flame mace and then 89-4. 89 is the chance, so one in an 89 chance of getting an item in this category, which is category one, which is getting one of the items in this list. The four next to it is the weight. So these aren't exact percentages and you don't have to use exact percentages. If you add them up to 100, it will be that exact percentage. Uh, but that's basically the weighted value of obtaining that. So it's kind of a 25% chance to get this item, 25 here, 12 here, and four for this. Uh, so we're going to go to the asset manager. And then we're going to select the mod, which I'm actually using the modding tutorial here and not this uh, infinite done. And then we're going to go to the database and then we're going to take a look at those items. So the first item is the flame mace. So that's a one handed blunt. So items, gear weapons, and one-handed blunt. So there's one in here already, and typically what I would usually do is just copy this and then paste it in there. If you don't have anything in there to start with, uh, you can pull it from the original database, which I'm gonna do for this example, because I've altered the speed on this one since it's a quick mace. So we're going to do an import of a record, and we're going to go into the items, gear weapons, one-handed blunt, and then we're going to take the first one in the list. So this is the one that's going to be added to that. So we're going to go back to the items, weapons, blunt. So this is our new one. We're going to rename that. And that is going to be according to the spreadsheet name. So this is going to be our plus four flame mace. Then we're gonna open up the details and we're just gonna kind of go through the sections. Now, a lot of this stuff, you can just leave the same the sound and effects and stuff like that. We're not really worried about that. Uh, the item name here we do. So this is a tag weapon. This is a plus four flame mace. And I take these off here for the quality because I don't really use that. This is the entire uh, piece that's necessary. So we're gonna clear that out. And then you can do things like setting the cost and item level and stuff. But right now, I'm not really going to be concerned with those. The requirements on here, so I have set that up in the spreadsheet. And the way that I've set this up is that there's basically a tier list for equipment. So I can just use this sheet as a reference. And this is a level four, so it's going to be this. So strength, dex, and int for plus four items is going to be 57. Uh, this is a weapon, so it will be strength. So we're going to put 57 strength down as the requirement for that. Uh, all of this information you can pretty much leave the same. And then when it comes to the physical damage here, we have the minimum and maximum. So we're going to reference the sheet. Uh, so for a one-handed weapon, that's going to be uh, 15 to 21. Then you can just go through because this is an item that was moved over and just kind of check through all these things just to make sure that there's nothing else filled out. You would see on the actual weapon um, and notice that there's some you know, additional stats or some other 
um, bonus that's applied to it if any of these were filled out, but they should pretty much all be blank for this because that's pretty much all that I want. Now this one though, I am going to modify this. So this was a flame weapon. So we're gonna use offensive fire. Um, offense on here is pretty much just adding attack and, and bonus on there. Slow on there is basically kind of negatives and debuff. Um, so on there, I'm gonna use the chart again. And then up here at the top, it says basically flame is gonna be, I'm just using these kind of as the made up stats, but as, as what I use for this. So it's gonna be half of your regen. Uh, so if we look at the plus four equipment, the regen would have been four. So we're gonna use half that. So we're gonna use two to give it basically a extra bonus of two fire is gonna be an option. On here, sometimes if you save this, it'll, it'll update those. Sometimes they don't update right away. These will be variable. Um, the physical damage that I added will always be the same when it drops. I kind of wish it did have a variance on that, but it does not. Any of these other modifiers that you put on here, it will give a variance, and it's something around like within 30, 40 percent. Uh, so this may drop a plus three, it may drop a one or two, something around that that area. Just remember that this is not always going to be uh, a plus two in that. Um, so our our item is pretty much done here for the plus four mace. Uh, so we're going to close out that record and then we need to apply it to a creature. So that one belongs to, I believe it was the archer. Uh, so that's back over here, plus four flame mace. So that belongs to the archer and it's going to have a weight of four on that. So creatures, enemies, so the skeleton archer. And these are all under the initial equipment. Um, one of the things to note is all these are set as to not drop um, in one of the tabs up here at the top. And all that means is they don't drop. If you, you put any equipment in this list, it's more for just show, but they won't actually drop that. You could allow it to drop that, um, but I don't. I, I choose to specifically just use the drop table here uh, for stuff that it can drop. Uh, so we're going to add it in here as item four. I'm going to pull it from this bottom value here. So we are using the records that are on the bottom. The, that's one of the top records is basically the main database, but our own custom database is the records below that. So records, items, weapons, one-handed blunt, and then the flame mace. And then that was four. So we have 25, 25, 12, and four, and that matches up to these. So basically the way to read this is you kind of have like a, a 25 weighted chance to get this item, 25 here, 12, and four, and then you can kind of customize these. This top amount um, controls, actually let me reopen that because that'll, make it a little bit easier to see. This top amount is the actual drop rate in this category. And there's a real easy formula for that. So if we look at this sheet, there's basically a one in 89 chance. Always just divide 100 divided by that number. So we're gonna do 100 divided by 89. and we get 1.12. That's why the 1.12 is here. And basically means you have a one in 98 chance approximately uh, to get this item. Whether your drop rate is one in a thousand or 480, that's always gonna work for the calculation. So it's an easy way to do the conversion on what this number is supposed to be. Uh, and then for visual aspect, it's easier to see on here, you have a one in 150 chance to get the item. It's a little bit easier to comprehend than the calculated amount here. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's, well, there's one more other thing that we need to do, but uh, the item is created and it's applied to that. The only additional factor is the name. So if we go into the source on here, we need to go into the text records and I've added some tags in here. So this one's on weapons specifically. Now, if you add these in as a text file, 
the system will not read that. What you need to do is add that text file in, go to, to this directory, which is in the Grimdon folder um, under text EN. Um, and then you need to just right click and do auto create asset. That will take your text file and associate it in there. Otherwise it won't read the information that you have in here. It'll just ignore it. Uh, so this is gonna be in our weapons. So that's just the reference. So the mace on there, we just added was a tag weapon plus four flame mace. That's the description that was in there and that's going to display as a plus four flame mace. So they're gonna look very similar, uh, but you need to do that part as well. Otherwise it will say it's basically a tag that's not found. Um, so we're gonna do that and then update the database and we should be ready to go. Uh, this one is just asking me about an unassociated file. So we'll leave that there, uh, but that's it. Uh, that uh, has created the uh, weapon on there. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on how this is done. And uh, thank you for watching.